God is training his people among the many things he does is he sends them to Egypt and say learn something from Egypt the symbol of Egypt is it not the serpent please talk to me so when he says be as wise as the serpent he's not just saying copy the snake he's saying there is a wisdom that comes with the cosmos hello viewers this is heavenly chance when you hear the raw word of God to his choice servant Apostle Joshua Simba remember to like comment and share this video that you are about to listen to and don't forget to subscribe God bless you every time you see evil it is because there is good it's called the law of polarity every time you see darkness is because there is light male female God himself designed that law I'm not talking about some some Scientology and some demonic thing I'm talking of the wisdom of the cosmos Jesus here is telling you understudy the serpent there are men who have taken advantage of that season even animals and ants that don't have conferences they are not filled with the holy ghost they don't pray in tongues but they have taken advantage of the laws of the earth and with it they have animals have never experienced ants that we know we we have not seen them gang up together to say there is famine because there are laws that they operate they don't have an advantage we, as far as we know we know they praise god because the bible says everything that has breath let it praise the lord but we don't know about prayer are we together human beings are the only species that are so disoriented the animals are to the bible to the point that the bible says oh sluggard go to the ants and learn that they do not have a king in other words there is problem with structure and yet in need they still excel the wisdom of the cosmos there are many natural laws that govern our world gravity is not just a spiritual law it is also a natural law it is because of the awareness of it today we have come into that awareness and we have built things around it to our advantage there are many things you have to know about life and the nature of men is, is, is someone learning now i wrote here for instance you have to understand the principles of cause and effect it will guide you in addition to the fear of the lord that you have if you understand that there are consequences for every action it will tame the things that you do there is the law of seasons the awareness of the selfish nature of men you can pray in tongues you can fast have spiritual understanding and then in addition when you now go to the work the place of work or your place of business there is an awareness that all human beings are not like those in your house you know most believers have been shielded from the reality of how life truly is they are used to innocent people they are used to you can keep your money in your house and come and see someone package it for you and say with love from your brother and some of us believe that the whole world is like that are we together you can be fasting and someone will cook for you and say this is to sow into your life and then for many especially christian families the moment their children have the honor you don't have to be evil to be exposed to the laws of life unfortunately when you are exposing people and teaching them the wisdom of the cosmos they will say it's not necessary after all i have god i'm going to show you something that will bless you is god blessing you already so many christian young people especially are very naive as to the realities of the cosmos as soon as they come out and they are no longer under the influence of parents or guidance or church maybe they relocate out of nigeria or they now get jobs or they get married or something happens that exposes them to the world they spend about the first 10 years of their lives paying the price of ignorance spiritually alive but very dead in terms of the wisdom of the cosmos so someone can come and say you know what i'm a nice person i love you very much how much do you have you say i have one million my father gave me and said he has settled me say just bring it i'm a very faithful person and they naively bring it because they say no it has to be god because this is how favor works most people do not understand the wisdom of the cosmos that the heart of man is desperately wicked that is a powerful information you should store as you explore this adventure of life it's not to make you suspicious 
it now creates a prayer request lord send good people to my life send destiny helpers to my life because of the awareness of that law are we together so the moment you hear that ah the earth is going to fold up you just know that based on the law of seasons the thing that is is the thing that was and the thing that will be thereafter you will find rest the only person who will close the earth is the one who opened it there is no there is nothing that will happen on earth that is enough to fold the earth like a curtain god will close the earth intentionally it's not disaster that will close the earth so no matter how bad what happens you know economically politically there will always be a way out it, we are not the first there have been dark ages in history is that true there has been famine in history is that true but there also has been abundance is that true just the knowledge of the law of seasons will give you the staying power through the storms in your life so for this season i do not have a job this season it looks like things are not working but i understand number one the integrity of god but even within the cosmos i know that everything is transient so rather than regretting over current seasons i begin to prepare and program the seasons coming is someone getting blessed so man of god while you are looking at 10 members and saying god you can't do this to me not after all my days of fasting you should know that the way god walks he walks by the law of seasons there is the law of time and chance there is the law of process the knowledge of these laws prepare you immediately if you hold twenty thousand, that is not all you will hold he's only training your hands to hold it well is god helping us believers are very ignorant let me show you something in acts chapter 7 and verse 22 <laughs> there are two personalities in the bible who have really really surprised me number one is called moses number two is called abraham i have studied their lives carefully are we together now because of the way they walk with god and i found out that for every one of them look at moses i want to show you something that will surprise you how many of you know that moses's assignment was a purely spiritual assignment it was the assignment of a deliverer if moses was in the new testament we'll call him an apostle and yet look at the nature of his training the bible says god sent him to egypt and he learned he was learned in all the wisdom of the egyptians and was mighty in words and deeds why did god subject him to go and learn the wisdom of egypt whereas his assignment was just to bring people out and to take them into the promised land is that in your bible give us genesis 12 ah i love preaching give us genesis 12 let me let me just drum this thing in my give please give us genesis 12. may god bless you thank you genesis 12 watch this now so god is asking god is asking abraham to leave um his father's house and all of that to a land that he would show him is that true now let me show you something very powerful give us from verse um i'm trying to look for let's go to verse verse 10 genesis 12 verse 10 please be patient while i read now remember abraham had had an encounter with god and god said leave to the place of destiny i will do this for you you will become a father of this and that the bible now said there was famine in the land have you noticed that every time there is hunger and famine where do they go to this is true for abraham this was true for joseph this was true for moses egypt is an antichrist place they do not understand kingdom in terms of kingdom come but they understand the wisdom of the cosmos and whenever god is training his people among the many things he does is he sends them to egypt and say learn something from egypt the symbol of egypt is it not the serpent please talk to me so when he says be as wise as the serpent he's not just saying copy the snake he's saying there is a wisdom that comes with the cosmos give us that scripture please let's just walk it a bit and there was famine in the land 
and abraham went down to egypt to sojourn there for the famine was grievous now this was a man who had spoken with god you will think after an encounter with god he should never feel the famine in the land your encounter your altar of prayer your altar of worship it may still be rich and you'll be surprised you will feel the effect of the happenings around the cosmos are we learning now 11 it came to pass when he was come near into egypt look at are you seeing the pressure of egypt made him to start telling lies he never told lies when it was his relationship with god but as soon as he got into the system the effect of ignorance on how to operate in the system started producing in him like a man of god will start well not intending to bribe not intending to do witchcraft but as soon as hunger comes he can arrange a conference to raise money he said to sarai his wife behold now i know that thou art a fair woman to look upon uh -huh. next verse therefore it shall come to pass when the egyptians shall see thee they shall say this is your wife and they shall kill me but you they will save you you see all these attributes finding expression say i pray you that you are my sister that it may be well with me for your sake and that i will leave did he have to go there if you are going to tell that level of lie to go there why don't you just go down you go back and hunger will kill you but you have to compromise and go into egypt have you seen now the price for going into egypt is that you must be prepared for compromise but if you withdraw you may keep whatever and hunger will kill you and you will die look at the dilemma that this man is in now is someone getting blessed the king's officials told him about her and she was taken to his house the bible says the king was good to abram because of sarah and abram was given sheep look at the gifts that he was given are you seeing where he got his wealth from where did he get it from in egypt his spirituality was powerful but his wealth and dominion came when he went to egypt thank you for watching and hope you'll be blessed by this message hit the subscribe button for more of our latest videos and don't forget to share in order to bless someone see you in the next